Good morning, kids. I bet that you guys have had parties before, haven't you? Maybe you had parties where you invited a lot of friends over to your house. Now, I want you to imagine that you had a big party, but everyone said, no, I'm not coming to your party. Maybe even one person took your invitation and they just tore it up right in front of you and just threw it in your face. What would you do? Do you think maybe you just cancel the party? No one wants to come, people so rude to you? Or do you think maybe you and your parents would go out into the community, go walk down the streets and go to parks and things and just start inviting random people, just people you don't even know, complete strangers to come? I don't know if you do that, that might be a little strange and it could even be a little dangerous if you don't know these people. But you know what? Today in the gospel, Jesus teaches using a parable with something just like that happening. He teaches a parable, a story about a king who invited many people to a great big party. In fact, it was the wedding party for his son, the prince. And everybody said no. They all had excuses. They all thought they had better things to do. But the king, he doesn't give up. He sent his servants out into the streets to invite everybody they could find wandering around, even if they were in the dirtiest, nastiest clothes, because the king promised he'd not only give them a wonderful meal for free, he'd also give them fancy clothes for free to wear to the party. And guess what? It worked. Many, many people came to that wedding party. And why wouldn't they? They're getting a wonderful free meal and they're getting fancy free clothes. Now, even though in Jesus' parable in a story, the king gave all these brand new clothes to everybody to wear, there was one guy who didn't wear the new clothes from the king. He still showed up to the party wearing his dirty, nasty old clothes. Doesn't that sound silly? He didn't want the king's wonderful gift. And because of that, the king kicked him out of the party. Now, you and I, we are invited to a party too. Our king, God the Father, he invites us to live forever with him and his son, Jesus, in heaven. And even though you and I are ordinary sinful people, dirty because of our sins, God, he wants you and me to be at his wedding party forever in heaven. And that's not all. In the, in the parable Jesus teaches today, God tells us how he gives us new clothes to wear. And they aren't even like the nicest clothes you've ever had maybe to go to a wedding. They're way better because it's the clothes, the Lord says, of Jesus' righteousness, his holiness, his perfection that is given to you and to me at our baptism. And because now we have these new clean clothes, we know that we're going to get to go to the best party that will never end. It's the party waiting for us in heaven. And you know what? Every single time we hear God's word and think about God's love for us, we hear about how Jesus has taken away our dirty sins. He's washed them away. He's taken away our dirty sins of our dirty clothes of sin and given us his new clothes, his righteousness, his holiness, his love to wear. So that you and I, my little friends, will always know we are always ready to go to God's party because he's the one who got us ready and he's the one who invites us and he's the one who will bring us safely there in heaven. Remember this beautiful truth today and always that you have a wonderful party to look forward to going to in heaven.